Universal Tones, and of course, welcome back to my channel. Hey, welcome to my channel. Hey, of course, you know, it's the thrifting show, whoa, 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 and all of my subbies that been down with me. Woo! Hey, my love loves. How are y'all doing? Okay. So, we are not going to waste any time. Of course, you can see by the title of what this video is all about. So, what I wanted to talk about quickly was the Christopher Rogers drop at Target. That's been all the rave. Everybody been trying to get the pieces. You cannot find the pieces. You cannot get the pieces. Where are all the pieces? Okay, so before we get into that, I must say, y'all, please forgive me. I am trying to get back into a regimen of filming and just get my mojo back. But, you know, I'm being a little not moving like a shoe. We'll put it like that. So, with all that being said, trust and believe I am going to get back to, I want to start the Tuesday and Thursday thing again. So, we're just going to see. But at least I want to try to drop you guys at least one video a week. So, with that being said, and guys, listen, it's not that I don't have the 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 item, son. Also, let me mention this right quick too. I am thinking about well, really, I am going to do. I just got to figure out the kinks and the ins and out of selling uh live, maybe Facebook live or something like that. Please, guys, support me. Come on, check me out. <laughs> I got so much inventory, and it got to get gone. You hear me? It got to get gone. I was busy doing... I had a client. I love her. So, uh, she's moving to a different state, and she wanted a uh, treasure box, a treasure thrift box before she left. So, I finished up her box. I should have filmed that, you guys, but I did... I don't know if she watched the channel, and I did not want her to see what I was putting in that box, because I didn't want her to be like... Uh, no, not that, not that, mm-mm, honey, yes, that, 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 because, honey, she has a slamming body, and she is a believer in Christ, and sometimes, I'm not going to get into that spiel, we don't know the balance between that, because I'm telling you something, you can wear your dresses down to your ankle, but if a man have a problem with lust, it don't matter, I ain't saying you should be out here with everything out, but just come on now. And who, that's a different story for a different matter, different subject matter. We ain't here for that. Let's get into what we're here for. So, guys, so, of course, you know, I don't follow fashion like that. I do love fashion. I love my own, you know, what I do, I guess. But I don't be like, oh, my God, what's the new Fendi drop? What's the new Gucci drop? Uh, I'm really not into that. I used to say, and I'm not trendy, but I think I am a little trendy. I do like to keep up with what's going on, you know. But, uh. So, when the Christopher Roger was all the rave and I went to see, it really was only one dress. Now, don't get me wrong, the, the collection is beautiful. But it was really only one dress that really, really stood out to me that I would love and do intend to get my hands on. But I thought, you know, what about the people that can't uh, get their hands on and they really love all the boldness, all the all the pattern and all the in your face and to me his collection is very ladylike it's very it's bold but it's like very ladylike very vintage inspired if you ask me so i thought why not have a thrifting trip where i see what i can find close to uh some of the boldness and all these things that he had in his collection. So, with that being said, let's jump into it. And you guys tell me what you think. First of all, when I saw this, I'm going to come close. This is a old Ashley Stewart. I shouldn't say old because the tag don't look that old. It's like, I got it as a shirt, but the colors are beautiful. And it made me think about his collection. And I will show some pictures, but... When I saw this, I loved it. Now, I just got to wrap and tie. Now, if you are less hipped than I am or shorter than I am, you probably could get away with this at, uh, probably as a dress with some, you know, thick tidies or leggings underneath. You, I think this would be cute with some shorts, uh, with some strappy heels. I just got my uh, ripped up Fashion Nova jeans on. Uh, I, uh with it and i just got it hanging down and i think this would even be cute with my little like 
sliding heels on my chunky heel. I was looking because I was going to show you what I was talking about. I think it'll be cute either with these heels right here or my little thin heels like that. I think that'll be so cute because I never really style for you guys. I just kind of try it on and try to give you guys an idea, but I never really style how I would wear it. Now, with that being said, we're going to jump into the dresses. This, I love this style of dress on me. But, like I said, it does not have pockets. And I know a lot of his dresses, like a lot of the vintage dresses, does have pockets. But when I saw this, this stood out to me. Because this is kind of something he did with the bold prints. And I love, I hope the camera's picking it up. But I love all of this, like, in your face, like, uh, blues and greens and whites and light blue. I really love that. So, I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick this up and let you guys see that so you know check out your thrift store until maybe you can find some of the pieces if that's your aesthetics and you really like it this is a vintage piece now guys you cannot tell me that this is not gorgeous now the thing about this one is the style of this one because it was three drops from three designers and i feel like the fastest the style the style <laughs> Of this one puts me in the mind of I think Alex. I think that's her name. Okay, guys, on this one, the zipper just boom. so I'm trying to debate. Is it cute enough for me to get the zipper fixed? Should I get the zipper fixed? I'm gonna show you. With it zipped up, it'd be like this. So should I get the zipper fixed or should I just redonate it and let somebody else deal with it? I know this is real easy to fix the zipper, but I love the color. I love the full wrap, but you know, she has a dress. I'm trying to show it that has like the like ruffles or something in the front. This is like full wrap, but guys, look at the cup that's not beautiful and it zips on the side but look at that look at all that goodness now the material this one i think is polyester you're 100 polyester and it does have shoulder pads. we're not gonna stop there i have a couple of more pieces look at this one like i said it's like the this one here but it's so springy and again with the colors because i just feel like his collection had a lot of color. It has a lot to do with color. So I just went to look for things that was very colorful, very bold, very in your face. So I picked this one up. This is so cute. And I will wear this just as dainty as it looks. I will throw this on actually. Where my little white shoes at? I have some little white shoes. If I can find these right here. I will actually just... Throw it on this. Now, to me, this is very uh, wedding, churchy, uh, you know, re really girly, girly. Uh, I just think that is so adorable. So, yes, my age really like to look adorable. I do. Age is all in your head, baby girl. And then this is the, this it here. You cannot tell me that this does not put you in the mind of his collection. This vintage Miss, I think it's Derby, Miss Derby. Look at this, y'all. Look at the detail with the puff sleeve. And then it just button here. I'm going to try it on so y'all will see. It does have pockets. Y'all, this is gorgeous. And it's bold, it's in your face. It's definitely, to me, some of the color patterns that he, I'm sorry, y'all. I bought it, well, when you when you thrifting, honey, it don't matter what size, you just, so it's not my size, but I'm making it work. But look at this. This is gorgeous. Now, I have a couple of more pieces. This is the two-tone. Y'all know he does have a two-tone uh, in his collection, and look at this, just two-tone off the shoulder, like a little sundress, with like the scrunchy top, and this is very structured, now this is a old Sears vintage dress, you can tell it is vintage by the tag, look at the tag, but look at that, y'all, 
Look at the detail right there, just black and white detail. To me, these put me in the mind. It does have pockets of his collection. And now, if you're a person, you said, I love his collection, but all of that color, all of that all over me, that's just not my style. Then, and, But you do kind of like what you see. Go simple. Maybe do something solid and then just get you like a real colorful blazer. Look at this blazer. Look at this blazer. Look at all that. And I have a couple like this. I had another one and I sold it, but I have this one. And it is kind of fall-like to me with the, you know, the burnt orange and the dark greens and the light blues. But look at that. And then, let me see, guys. I have this one that's a little different, but it's more... It's more summery. It's still vintage, but it's more summery. You know, it's less heavy. And I feel like you probably could get away with it more in the uh, spring or summer. And I need to go to the uh, cleaners. Okay, so even if you still say, yeah, but I, I don't even know about a blazer. Then do something as simple as a top. Just look at this top with the pink, the white, and the blue. Can you see this with just some uh, white shorts, uh, um, white slacks? Look at that orange, pink, mauve. That's gorgeous, y'all. So I just wanted to give you guys some ideas just in case you are loving the collection, but you cannot get your hands on any pieces. You really want to get your hands on it, some pieces. You really want to be... Uh, trending with uh some of his styles check out your thrift store look at his collection look and see what dresses you really really like go thrifting and see if you can find a similar replica of that and maybe that'll feed that mm, until you be able to get your hands on it with that being said guys i love you guys i hope you enjoyed this short little video uh please like share subscribe uh don't forget i am i will be continually telling you guys about where I'm going to be selling. Y'all, I have so much stuff that I have to get rid of. And I wanted to go to a good, good home. Somebody that's going to love it, style it, and do it some mm. Now, you already know. You already know the deal. I will show y'all a little. What we at? 12 minutes, y'all. Now, I don't want to prolong because, honey, I was going to give y'all some sneak peeks of what your girl been doing. Ooh, pray. Anyway, with that being said, I love you guys. Please be the solution to what? Come on, y'all. Be the solution. Be the solution to somebody's problem, y'all. Please. Please be the solution. And that's just with a bye, a hi, a how you doing. God bless you. Peace.